we will have a outlook regarding the third unit data collection let us see what is data collection data the word the term data itself denotes it's it is nothing but gathering information from all the relevant sources to find a solution to the research problem it helps to estimate the outcome of the situation the main source of data collection method are data the primary importance of the data collection in any research or in a business process that it helps to determine many important things about the company particularly the performance of the company with the data only we will be able to analyze whether the company is going well or not as well as in any area of research data collection is very very important only with the help of the data collection we can move further in the research next slide deals about types of data collection so i told data is very very important here the data collection process plays an important role in all the streams it may be of any stream uh the data plays a vital role here we have two types of data that is a primary data collection method and secondary data collection method primary data collection is nothing but raw data which contains the information obtained directly from the first hand sources through experiment surveys or observation it can be further primary data is further classified into two methods that is quantitative data collection method and qualitative data collection method quantitative data collection method deals with the numerical data which will be used for analyzing uh, using static uh, statistical method this type of data collection is often used in surveys experiments and other research methods it uh, here it measures the variables and establish the relationship between the variables through quantitative method uh, through the quantitative method is typically in the form of numbers for example response frequencies means and standard deviation and can be analyzed using statistical software you can see it in the picture how the quantity data collection data collection can be done see we have probability through probability sampling we can conduct collect data through inter, interview method also we can collect data by surveys and questionnaire observation and document review by using all this you will be able to collect the quantitative quantitative data about qualitative data collection method so here it deals about the approximate and characterized data which is observed and record already this data type is non numerical in nature make a note of it quantitative is a numerical in nature whereas qualitative is non numerical in nature this type of data is collected through methods of observation one to one interviews conducting focus groups and similar methods you can see it in the picture this quantitative data collection mainly helps to uh, understand the individuals attitudes beliefs and behaviors in a specific co context by the researcher you can see it in the picture it can be collected through surveys group discussions observations next uh, slide deals about secondary data collection method secondary data collection the word itself the term itself denotes that secondary data that means already the data has been collected by someone someone it means that the information is already available and someone is going to analyze it the secondary data includes the collected data like uh, magazine newspapers books journals etc it may be either published data or unpublished data here published data means uh, it may contain government publications public records uh, historical and statistical documents business documents technical and trade journals whereas unpublished data means it may be of a diaries or letters or unpublished biographies of an individual 
what is questioner we always have an a uh, doubt in a questioner because in the previous slides we were seeing the uh, data can be collected through questioner so let us discuss what is questioner questioner is a data collection technique which consists of series of questions that are structured to to be asked of a people taking part using different forms of communication whether it's a verbal or a written the feedback from a questioner can be measurable or used to delve deeper into people's mind so that this questioner will help us to understand the uh, people mindset regarding the research problem which we are conducting by their answers we will be able to predict what is going on regarding that problem let us see how it should be constructed the questioner should be constructed in a proper way then only we will be able to analyze and we will be able to get a exact conclusion let us see the first step is determining the scope of questioner the second one you have to decide the type of questions it may be of a closed ended or a open ended to be asked next you have to prepare the questioners fourth step we have to pre test the questioner with the sample population to by making a sample uh, sampling uh, pre testing only will be able to know whether the questioner fulfills all the questions which is uh, adequate to conduct the research fifth step is you have to go for revising the questionnaire according to the suggestion received so when you conduct a pre test there may be of uh, some suggestion given by the population so that in the next step you can revise the questionnaire according to their suggestion sixth step now you have now you have pre tested again you have uh, revised the questionnaire now you are going to distribute the questionnaire to the actual samples the seventh step sending reminders to the population under study eighth step is receiving the response so here the when once the questionnaire is distributed and the reminder is given to the population under study they are going to uh, return back the filled questionnaire where you will be able to receive the response regarding the questions you have been asked the ninth step is you are going to with the data collected through the questionnaire you are going to analyze it numerically and you are going to interpret the data which you have received through the questionnaire finally the 10th step is you are going to write a write the report schedule is a set of questions with structured answer to guide an observer interviewer researcher or an investigator it is a plan or a guide line for investigation so see the sentence it uh, it gives a very uh, it has been given very cr uh, crisp that means it is a plan or a guideline for an investigate investigation so when you going to conduct an investigation this interview schedule will help you a lot see thomas carson has uh, uh, given a uh, definition i gone uh, regarding the interview schedule the schedule is nothing but a list of questions which is necessary to test the hypothesis in simple words Uh, scheduled in a set of questions formulated and presented with a specific purpose for testing an assumption or hypothesis let us see the types of interview schedule there are various types of interview schedule the first one is observation schedule so here this type of schedule have questions with a guide and observer systematically second one is rating schedule here the questions will help to guide a psychologist or a sociologist to measure the attitude and behavior of an individual survey schedule this will help to formulate for a survivor or to guide him for his information collection finally we are coming to interview schedule it is a set of question with structured answer to guide an interviewer now let us discuss about measurement of scaling technique scaling technique is very important because uh, with the help of the scaling technique only we will be able to 
uh, frame or question uh, let us see what is that a scale is a device or an object used to measure or quantify any event or another object let us see the levels of measurement we have di uh, four different scales of measurement the data can be defined as being one of the four scales the four types of scales are nominal scale ordinal scale interval scale and ratio scale let us see what is nominal scale you can see it in the picture nominal scale will be named variables whereas ordinal scale will be a named plus ordered variables where when we move on to the interval scale it will be named plus ordered as well as it will be proportion there will be a proportionate interval between the variables finally when you move to the ratio scale it can be it will be named plus ordered and proportionate interval between the variables and can accommodate absolute zero a nominal scale is nothing but a non numeric variable or the number that do not have any value we can see it in the example an example of an nominal scale measurement is given below what is your gender male female here the variable are used as a tags and the answer to this question should be either m or f ordinal scale is the second level of measurement that reports the ordering and ranking of data without establishing the degree of variation between them ordinal represents the order ordinal data is known as a qualitative data or a categorical data it can be grouped named and also ranked example you can see it, see it in the slide ranking of school students how the school students will be ranked first rank second rank third rank etc so your rating is in uh, as such rating in restaurant how will you rate in the restaurant let us see evaluating the frequency of occurrence how many time you will visit very often often not often not at all assessing the degree of agreement you can see totally agree agree neutral uh, disagree totally disagree interval scale the term itself indicates interval scale there will be an uh, interval let us see what is that it is defined as a quantitative measurement scale in which the different difference between the two variables is meaningful in other words the variable are measured in an exact manner not as in a relative way in which the presence of zero is arbitrary example we uh, uh, likert scale net promoter score bipolar matrix table all this we will discuss in depth in the class session next we have ratio scale the here also the term ratio me ratio itself denotes uh, the meaning of ratio scale you can uh, see that this type of uh, type of variable measurement scale will help to compare the difference or intervals the ratio scale has a unique feature it possesses the character of the origin or a zero point example an example of a ratio scale is what is your weight in kgs less than 55 kg or 55 kg to 75 kg 76 to 85 kg or 86 to 95 kg or more than 95 kg so it uh, helps to compare the difference thank you for watching this video i think so it will be useful for you students